Elena Shushinova, joint bronze medalist on vault. Excellent vault. Full twisting Yurchenko. The Arabs spring a cartel with a quarter turn, backwards, coming into the horse blind, lifting off superbly. A nice tight full twist and an excellent landing. Shushinova, who won the gold medal on vault in the 85 championships, three individual gold medals she had then and one bronze, as well as the gold overall. But disappointing in the overall championships of days ago and the score coming up for vault and there it is a maximum in 10. ten fantastic but not a blinker of recognition on this girl's face she goes for the second remember it's the average of the two marks that counts And this could be an even more difficult fault. Let's see how she plays her cards. Arab Spring. Yes, it is. It's a double twisting Yurchenko. Much more difficult than the first. And that's the mark for Jonasson. 9.525. Technique might not be so perfect because she's really going for the ultimate difficulty. First performed by Arta Okopian in the World Championships in 1981 brilliant vault but a step back but she's already got a 10 and there's the score for Shushanova's second vault 9.913 and here is the overall gold medalist from Romania 17 years old earlier this month Daniela Silivas Yurchenko full twist in a puck position Daniela very short, finding vault her most difficult discipline because of her light body weight. Very good effort, but split legs. Certainly not her best piece of apparatus, but a good vault. And there's a score, Yurchenko, full twist, with straight legs this time, and that was her second vault, and in my opinion, the best. A closer look. She needs lots of speed because she's so tiny. Loses her legs off the top, but then re-extends them before landing. She makes a very good job of that vault. But now, result, Elena Shushanova, the winner with the gold. Silivash gets a silver to add to her gold earlier, and Galea of Romania coming third and winning the bronze medal. Well, Haley. Shushanova, just making the final preparations to the asymmetric bars. But first on will be the 14 year old Ara Priakina. Overall silver medalist. Qualified in the second place with 9.90. And the mount, the only person in the world to perform full twisting flick flack to backward circle. And already we've seen a full twisting giant. And Akatchev, and now we're coming into the big dismount, which is a double back with a full twist. Like Lukin, she's been a revelation this week. Unheard of 12 months ago, but has come through to be the newest star in the firmament. And Priyakina opens up strongly 9.863. And here's Boriana Stoyanova of Bulgaria, next to go on asymmetric bars. Qualified sixth with 9.80. Stoyanova, been on the international scene since 1981. Full twisting giant. 
eagle to catch back straddle. Clear circled handstand. Giant. So many of these moves coming from the men's high bar work. Shoot front and Barani dismount. Very clean routine. Not amazing difficulty, but everything performed with technical accuracy. Clear circle to handstand. And then the giant. The straight of the arms and the straight of the body, the more appealing this exercise is to the judges. Feet together, body tight. Shoot front somersault and the half twist. Looks really untidier than it is in slow motion. And next to go. 9.813, the score for Stoyanova. And she's followed. Here's Astrid Hisser from East Germany. 18 years old, qualified fifth with 9.85. Nice forward giant into Jaeger. Ginger. Legs were meant to be bent. Tremendous record, these Germans on asymmetric bars. We've had gold medalists, Maxi Genauk, Karen Jans back as far as 1979. And double back away, dismount. The standard on asymmetric bars has been phenomenal, hasn't it, so far? Absolutely. Amazing. I'm going to be very disappointed when I go back to my gym. <laughs> but if your kids in your gym are watching, they'll be inspired, surely, by this. And there's a nice high ginger. Immediate drop to catch the bottom bar. <coughs> the routines look so easy because they're performed with such technical accuracy. Tremendous amount of training goes into the strength of the gymnasts and their body conditioning. Marks coming up for Koraliev. Here's Diana Dudova on symmetric bars. Needs 9.87 to go above Brekina to take the lead. Two stolders, inward half turn, Jaeger to catch, drop to catch. A very nice combination. Stolder again on the bottom bar. Movements named after the innovators of the skill. Giant. Double back straight. Routine there from 18-year-old Diana Dudova from Bulgaria. And she's had a really magnificent championship so far. Joint bronze medalist overall. And a marvellous performance here on A-Bars. Demonstrating tremendous range of movement in the shoulder range and strength, lifting that Jaeger really high and catching it securely before dropping to the bottom bar. Superb all-round gymnast who's in all four finals. And there's Lukin's mark. And here is Silibash, who's 9.914 for the gold on A-bars. Stolder, full pirouette, Delchev. About 10 years' work in three movements. Stolder. Working with very narrow hands, very efficient bar worker, Kachev. Another couple of years' work. Giant undershoot with a Barani out. Absolutely brilliant. She makes it look so easy. From the minute she's walked into the stadium in warm-up, she's gone on, done her routine, and it's looked absolutely effortless. Brilliant extension into the landing there. Scores coming up now for Silibash. And just a fraction short of the perfect 10. 9.975 and surely that's another goal for the Romanian. Such 
a difficult act to follow Silivash, but someone's got to do it. And here's Dorte Tumler from East Germany in fourth place going into these finals with 9.875. I've watched Dorte Tumler since I arrived in Moscow. She's longed to be in the, in the competition. Delchev there. One time she thought she was only going to be reserved and she's worked really hard and deserves to be in this final. Really putting her best performance in. Doesn't want to let her side down. And there they are. She is really thrilled. Brilliant little gymnast. Dorte Tumler, only 15 years old. And East German crowd really making themselves felt. Delight with the coach. Three girls they have in the top 15. But... And here's some nice work. Of course, East Germany, tremendous tradition. And there's the really high Delchev straight into her undershoot over the bottom bar to catch. It's not just performing the difficulties, but it's working out of them into yet another difficulty. And this is where the high scores come from these girls. Lubomir Gosmetric bars, Daniela Silivash getting the gold again, Diana Dudeva of Bulgaria the silver, and daughter Tumla getting the bronze. Briefly, a highlight of the art. Old, joint third going into these finals with a carryover score of 9.8. Double flick straight back with just a hesitation at landing. Split, back pirouette, split. Flick, whisk back to two feet. Looks much more confident already than she did in the first length. Shoulder stand, chest roll. Gymnasts must perform movements close to the beam. It's part of the rule. Series into dismount, flick, flack, flick, flack, straight back, double twist. Not much the best so far. Very exciting routine, especially the last series into the dismount. Just take a look at this. Flick, straight back, straight back. That was the centre combination. There the score for Golea. Anja Wilhelm of West Germany to the beam. Anja in sixth place with 9.70, her carryover score. Cartwheel quarter turn, very positive. From semi to one leg. Second aerial cartwheel. Good judgment of the use of the beam there. This mount series, flick flack, flick flack, straight back, full twist. Good routine, lacking on elevation and amplitude in the jumps, but very solid. And with mistakes so far on the beam, even though she's in sixth place, a chance, an outside chance of a medal for Anya Wilhelm. The dismount series, straight back, and only a full twist. Score for Wilhelm, a good one, 9.70 to the vault. Elena Shushanova 
to the beam. Lying in second place with a carryover score of 9.90. Oh, and she used the beam to hold on. Three tenths there. twisting Corbett and that was what really well performed difficult trick Shishinova never has been slender, but she's looking just a little bit chunky around the middle. Dismount. Arab Spring. Oh, very nice. Full twist straight in the second. Tuck back. The score for Korolev, 9.925. And that'll be averaged out after his... So here, the reigning world beam champion, Daniela Silivash. In first place, going onto the beam with a carryover score of 9.95. Shushanova score, 9.475. And she needs Silivash 9.714 to win the gold medal. And that she should do with ease, provided there are no mistakes. And I'm very nervous, because I really want her to win, because I think she's brilliant. Lovely, lovely opening series, that. Ariel, Ariel walk over. Detected a little wobble there. Not there though. Works so confidently on the beam. It's only four inches wide, 16 feet long. Anybody would think it was 16 feet wide. Flick, two straight backs, just a hesitation. We can't call that a wobble. And a spectacular dismount coming up. Whilst most people are working to master this on the floor, she, she does it on the beam. And a little bit close to the end of the beam with her head, but a brilliant routine there from Silivash. And there it is, 9.925 for Silivash. A gold medal for her on beam, her third of these championships, her second individual apparatus gold medal. And there's confirmation with the silver going to Eugenia Galea of Romania. And in third place, Anja Wilhelm of West Germany. That's the first uh, Western European medal of these championships. Then the vault for the men. Oh, this is a really imaginative routine. Camelia Voynier for Romania in second place. Her carryover score, 9.95. Just a hint, her hobby is breakdancing. Double back straight.
go, that punch front. Good isolation, body moves here. For the first time, someone really fully interpreting the music. Absolutely. Music everybody part. Individual routine, that's what I like to see. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Roars of approval all around the Olympic Stadium. You can see how they enjoyed that. The middle tumble. And watch the landing punching into front. Somersault did travel back a little because of the landing position from the double back. But a great routine. Great score for Voynia, 9.988. Daniela Silivash, a perfect 10 she scored in the overall on floor. She needs 9.939 to go above Voynia. Pull him back out. Double twist, punch front, walk out, flick. Double twist, punch front, how's that? like a little doll and then suddenly a top-class circus acrobat the perfect 10 for Daniela Silivan well it's been a disappointing competition for Elena Shushanova joint third overall she has a vault gold medal she can't get a gold here or even a silver she's going for bronze Elena Shushanova from the Soviet Union a brilliant gymnast let's hope she's as brilliant in her defeat as in her success unfortunate there full twisting flip flap One is a quarter Arabian dive roll. Very clever series there. Lost value and Silivas looks on sympathetically. Trishinova, 9.488. And the final girl to go in this amazing floor routines. 14-year-old Anna Priakina from the Soviet Union in fourth place at the moment. And Colin Fuller stepped out of the floor area 
but who cares on a tumble like that? was suspect but it's developing very well not complicated but lots of feeling doesn't look too out of breath either big tumble at the end here yes pull in back out well that's the best tumbling we've seen from any of the girls in this championship most difficult most certainly um, 9.95 for Brikina. But inevitably the goal going to Silivash again of Romania. In second place, Camelia Voinia of Romania as well. And the bronze, uh, Ala Prikina.